Hey everyone, it's Nelson back with another video. It's been a while since we made a YouTube video, but I'm planning on releasing one once every week for the next month or two. There's going to be this video, there's going to be a video about the extracurricular activities that I had that got me into university programs, such as UFT Engineering, Waterloo Engineering, Queen's Commerce, and Western Ivy. A video about my experience as student council president, how you can run for student council office, and a video about my summertime journey of exercising during this time. So with that out of the way, let's get into this video. So it's been quite a few months of quarantine and there's been massive disruptions to my life. Just as a senior graduating during COVID-19, there's no commencement, there's no prom, there's none of that. So it's just, there's a real lack of closure and a sense of closure with friends, family, and just the end of high school. CBC News released this opportunity where you could submit a video and a blurb about a message you want to share to your fellow graduate class of 2020. And so I thought that was a pretty cool experience because there's been quite a few things that I've been doing during this time and quite a few messages that I want to showcase and share with the class of 2020. So they created a website where they stored all the videos that students from across Canada submitted. And here's my video. Hi, my name is Nelson Lee and I'm from Toronto, Ontario. As we graduate here in 2020, there are lots of things that we need to solve. Whether that's climate change, racial justice, or income inequality, just to name a few issues. I try to do my part as the student council president at Mark Garneau Collegiate Institute. We were able to put in place things such as a climate commitment, as well as ensuring that our clubs gives opportunities to those who need it most. I'm calling on you as a fellow class of 2020 to continue doing this work in wherever you go, whether that's college, university, or in the workplace because these problems need solutions from our generation. They haven't been solved in a long time and I don't expect them to be solved without our hard work putting into them. We need to ensure this happens because without it, the future of Canada cannot be as bright as it can be. So, fellow class of 2020, let's get to it. After that opportunity, a good friend of mine, Ivy Dang, she linked me up to an interview opportunity with the Toronto Star, which is Toronto's biggest newspaper, about sharing my experiences of graduating during COVID-19. By the way, go check out Ivy Dang's materials. She has a lot of great jewelry, a lot of great clothing, and you should really check it out because they're just fantastic pieces of art. And so I accepted the offer and a bunch of people from the TDSB were really nice in helping set up the interview. I signed a media consent form, then we got put in contact with Chris Rashoi, who is the Toronto Star's Queen's Park Bureau Chief. And so we got on the phone call for around 25 minutes and she asked a lot of questions ranging from how it felt to graduate during COVID-19, my plans for the summer, and what I felt was the best high school experience and more. The interview was fun and Mr. Shoei was really engaging and nice since it was my first news interview. It was amazing to see that when the article came out on Friday, it was in the actual paper, but it also popped up on my Google News Feed as well. It was just a phenomenal experience overall. I was then asked by CTV News to be on their News at Six segment to also showcase and to share my COVID-19 experience. It was, it was, it was just amazing. Um, when the reporter came, Mike Walker, he came in those big CTV news trucks and it was just so cool to see like a reporter's life during COVID-19 and since they have to also socially distance, he's just been a one-man team on his own and so we helped him set up the camera, the microphone, but he also had to do the actual reporting and the questioning part as well. We filmed for around one and a half hours. And it was, a pr it was pretty much a conversation throughout the way. It was the typical, what are you doing during COVID? How does it not feel to have prom and commencement and more? And then he got me to print off my acceptance letter to UFT Engineering to read it out to him. And then we shot some shots inside the house. He filmed a part where I was doing the UFT Engineering Academy, which is this preparation course for September. And when it came out later that day on CTV, it was so cool to hear other graduates' COVID-19 story and to see myself on TV. 
Nelson Lee is graduating from Mark Arnold Collegiate. As student council president, he was helping to plan the end of year celebrations. But COVID-19 put an end to those plans. It doesn't feel as fulfilling. Both Here Nelson, Nelson and Zabone will be attending the University of Toronto. It is our privilege to offer you admission. Nelson studying engineering, Zabone majoring in international relations. With no summer employment opportunities due to the pandemic, both are taking online courses to help prepare for university. I to sort of keep myself engaged. Some of my classes are going to be in person, which is really exciting. It's not completely going to be online, and that's something that I've kind of been dreading. From there, I guess as the saying goes, when it rains, it really, really pours. City TV and Breakfast Television also want to interview me, and so that was a whole other story on its own. I had to wake up really early because it was going to be a breakfast television set. It was going to start at 7.20, but I had to be there at 7, so I woke up at 6 because we wanted to film outside my school, which is quite a while away. From there, the reporter Frankie and the cameraman were just super engaging. And from like 7 to 7.20, we were just talking. I saw them doing some weather shots. It was just fun. And when we actually had the live segment on TV that morning, it just flowed so smoothly because of the report that Frankie and I built. And I just think that that just goes to show how great the reporters that I've encountered during this time have been. For me, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm the most extroverted person, so having the ability to just meet someone who cares about their job but also cares about your experience during the entire interview process was just really cool. So I'll just play the clip out now from the Breakfast Television Live segment. We covered so many things and from that conversation I felt sad because it reminded me of the plans I had for the summer that were sort of bummed out because of COVID-19. But here's the clip. Quiet this morning. I have one student joining me this morning. Nelson Lee, uh, you are student council president this mm -hmm. year. Congratulations on that as well. Thank you. Yeah. A different year. V very much so. A very different year due to COVID and just how everything turned out at the end. This would have been your graduating year. You, yes, you're that's going to correct. U of T next year. Mm -hmm. How do you feel at this moment? I feel that it's going to be it's going to be different going into the new year how everything's going to be online and remote and just how there's no sense of closure without the lack of a commencement or prom this year yeah you told me about commencement so now commencement's going to be happening in the fall that's correct and commencement would have been yesterday yeah instead yesterday how did you tell your friends to celebrate the last day of school you sent them some different uh, emails yeah so I, I made these virtual cards for a lot of my friends sort of just detailing the past four years of high school how that went and how grateful I am for their friendship over these past years and to wish them the best of luck in their respective universities next year COVID's taken lots away from you mm -hmm. a lot of celebrations a lot yeah. of things what has it given you I think it's giving me the sense of hope for this for the future because from what I see from our class of 2020 we have a lot of ideas for how to sort of fix the problems in our world because we've seen a lot of those in recent days and weeks such as climate change income inequality and racial justice I think I'm really hopeful for the things that we'll do in the future as we go into the real world and make a real difference the online learning is there any recommendations you could give for online learning now I would say that it's it's really difficult to sort of infuse the same amount of motivation as you would in the classroom, but for online learning, just engaging students, making sure that they're on task is the best way to do it. And you were also telling me about elections for next year. Mm -hmm. What are you doing differently? So our student council, we're going to have elections in the fall to ensure that every student has an equal access and opportunity to run for student council office at our school. Because we want to ensure that because things are online at the moment, we don't want anyone to sort of be held back because of it due to any technology issues or just the amount of resources that they have. Yeah. And your plans for the summer, we were talking. You're going to be that classic graduate from yeah. high school, go do the Europe trip. Yeah. And now that's not going to happen. No, no. So originally my friends and I, we were going to go to Europe, do a whole trip through Spain, Italy, and Greece. But unfortunately, we can't do that now. So I think we'll just resort to something along the lines of Google Maps, plopping ourselves down and trying to cook Mediterranean food on our, on our own. A lot of the times they say challenge makes you stronger, makes you uh, a stronger group of individuals. Do so you think the class of 2020 
will be the strongest class going forward. I think we will be, and I think we are really resilient after all of this, just seeing sort of the differences in the world and to sort of see all the issues that we need to go into the real world and solve. Well, congratulations, heading off for engineering. That's correct. Uh, frosh week. <laughs> we really don't know what that's going to look like. We don't know what it's going to look like, yeah. Yeah, but I wish you uh, congratulations, number one, mm -hmm. on your graduation, number Thanks. two, on the future, and you will never, ever be forgotten as the class of 2020. Yes, no one will ever. You are that class. Yeah. Well, thanks once again, Nelson. Thank We're you. We're going to take a break right now from Breakfast Television. Still lots more to come on the last day. Last hey, day of last school. Last day of school. <laughs> Woo! Overall, my experience of sharing my life during COVID-19 with different news organizations was just purely awesome. It was so cool to see what other students were experiencing during this time as well, to play around with like the high-tech TV station sort of machinery, like their cameras and their microphones and all the different pieces of equipment that they use, but also just to share the message that I had for my fellow class of 2020. Overall, it was just phenomenal from start to finish and I was so grateful to just be part of this journey and to sort of relate the experiences of graduating during COVID-19 to so many people across the country. And by the way, comment down below about how you've been spending your break during COVID-19 because I'm really excited to hear about that. Well, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe and to stay tuned for other videos that are coming out soon. Peace!